Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video we're going to talk about how to create an urban context so we can later do a shadow studies. Uh, so this is what we're going to get at the end of this practice. Uh, let's open a new file. Uh, instead of these templates, I would rather go with browse. Default metric is good, open and OK. Because we are working on uh, urban context, uh, it makes sense to go with meters. So I'm going to type UN for units under length. I'm going to go with meters, three decimal places. OK and OK. Now uh, I'm going to go with site plan first. Uh, we do have an AutoCAD file for the area. I'm going to go with insert, import, CAD. I'm going to select the CAD file, set it on current view only, black and white, manual center and auto detect should be good, open, and I'm going to set this somewhere around here. Now let's say this area is about 140 meters above sea level. Okay, so the correct practice is to go here, click here, and here where it says uh, project base point, see that I'm on site plan, project base point, elevation from C is 140 meters, we already set uh, the units on meters. For the survey point we can also say the elevation is 140 meters above sea level but you need to unlock this uh, clip thing then I'm gonna go with 140 now let's see what happened to our levels. If I go to, let's say, south elevation, our levels are dropped by 140, which is uh, quite normal. I'm going to move them up by 140. So what happens now is our levels are on zero, and at the same time the project is 140 meters above sea level. Uh, second thing we need to do is that we need to set our project north. So it's a bit tilted because of true north. Uh, in this view, site view, orientation is on project north. That's good. I'm going to go to manage. Under project location, I would like to go with rotate project north. Uh, I'm going to go with the last one, align selected line. I'm going to align it with maybe the edge of this building. OK. So what happens now is orientation. Uh, if I go back to true north, uh, it's as it was before in case we need to go back and I can switch to project north. We're going to consider 3.2 meters for uh, the height of each level is more or less 3.2 meters based on some site investigation. So instead of 4, I'm going to go with 3.2. I'm going to type LL for levels and I'm going to offset this at least one more time by 3.2. Pick the line, click once. For now it's good. So a bit later, we're going to create building masses to show uh, the urban context. Uh, we need to use some further validations, such as cloud points. So uh, we already have a cloud point for this project. Uh, in the site plan, maybe I'm going to go with insert point cloud. I'm going to bring my point cloud auto center to center. I'll leave it on auto, but I'll change this later myself. I'm going to move it later. That's good. Open and it put it right here. This is our uh, point cloud. If I go to 3D, that's our point cloud that you see, right? So first thing, we need to rotate it to kind of align with our building here. So I'm going to set it somewhere around here, rotate, place it, place the center of rotation here. I'm going to rotate it to be more flat. Right now, uh, I'm gonna go to my south elevation. Uh, it seems that it's, it's small, right? Because from here to here, it needs to match with the width of the street. So I'm gonna go to my south elevation, and uh, it's also down there. So I'm gonna move this up, and here I'm gonna click on uh, 
my levels right click and I'm gonna go with maximize 3d extend so it's where it should be let's move this a little bit up okay now you see that it's not in the right scale because from level to level it's supposed to be around 3.2 now in order to help us scale this better uh, I'm gonna also import an image in my south elevation maybe I can put the image somewhere around here now you see the image is too big first I want to have an idea of the image size then I want to match the point cloud with the help of that image so it still needs to be smaller so I have one level here two level I need another level type LL uh, I'm gonna go with another 3.2 there we go so uh, from the floor to the roof it should almost fit within my level 1 to level 4 needs to be a bit bigger I'm gonna move this down so it's almost good now uh, okay so now I'm gonna click on the point cloud we can scale it under edit type let's assign some other value so if if I get some dimension like from around here to here if it's 1.3 it needs to be 3.2 it should almost be two and a half times of, of what it is now so if I click on it edit type it says scale is 3.2 somewhere around 8 maybe it should be good okay now it's much larger I can move this around and uh, based on the image and our comparisons it should almost be good now I don't really need this in image anymore I can erase it or hide it uh, I'm gonna keep the uh, point cloud is gonna help us when we get to the height of the mass and I'm gonna go to site level click on it I'm gonna adjust it to where my AutoCAD file is so it's uh, something like this so I'm gonna work based on this corner of the building and uh, now I can also get rid of the image uh, it's gonna be alright and we can start modeling our uh, conceptual masses uh, we also need to locate the project in Toronto that's where the location is so under manage I'm gonna go with project location maybe I can go with one of the default city list here I can type T and we're gonna go with Toronto Ontario Canada okay it's gonna affect of course our uh, solar radiation uh, I would like to mention that the files that we have been using in this practice uh, has have been kindly provided by uh, Mr. Yasser Gorka and now let's create some building masses uh, so maybe I can create this part first I'm gonna click on the point cloud type HA so it's gonna be temporarily hidden uh, so I'm gonna go with my massing and site in place mass mass one okay pick the lines hover the mouse around here hit tab once or twice so it's gonna select all the lines at once create form and then finish the mass let's look at it on the south elevation so it's good uh, it goes up to here but actually maybe we want to go a little bit more than 9.6 because uh, we have the parapet so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna move this a little bit up if you want to be more precise you can always go with edit in place I'm gonna look at it in 3d that is the mass I want to hit tap here okay so it's telling me that uh, it's 11 meter so if the building is 9.6 I want to go with 11.1 for the height of this uh, mass so let's look at it on the south view that looks good uh, and if you want to see it like in colored uh, and more importantly if you want it to cast shadows it should have a different material 
So I'm going to click on the mass. You see that it doesn't allow us to assign material here. So we need to go with edit in place. Uh, I'm going to hit tab, select the whole thing. Under material, I can create a material here. How about I just name this like uh, magenta. And I'm going to go with uh, graphics, use render appearance, and under appearance, I'm going to assign uh, this color. OK and OK. Finish the mask. And now if I change to shaded uh, or realistic, because I assigned the color to both, it's going to show that as in purple, also in the south view, if you wish so. So it helps us a little bit to differentiate between different masses. So feel free to keep going. For instance, I can go here. Uh, you can also, if you want, go with shaded here. So that's how I created one mass. Feel free to keep going on and uh, create the rest of the masses. We also need something to show the topography at the bottom. So I'm going to create one surface for it. Uh, let's consider how far it's going to go. I'm going to go with some reference planes, RP maybe. Let's say we want it to go till the end of uh, what we have on this end. I'm going to move this down. You can also name your lines if you wish so. I'm going to copy this to the other side. And I'm going to create two horizontal lines, RP, say somewhere around here should be good, and copy this down uh, maybe here. So around here we're going to have a topo surface. I'm going to go with massing and sight. A topo surface for absolute elevation I assign 140 because it's 140 meters above sea level and I'm just going to place one, two, three, and four points and finish this. Let's take a look here. That's all good. And the south. Uh, if you see that it goes down too much, uh, I believe we can go to site settings here and we can say that for the earth, uh, for this elevation, I think it's reading it based on 140. So let's see if I assign 139. It's only going with one meter of soil uh, or dirt. Maybe I can go with 135. OK. Uh, or maybe even smaller. So I'll go back here. 138 or 137 should be good. If this is blocking your view, you can type HH to hide it and continue with the rest of the masses. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.